Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for the Festival of Cinema NYC Virtual Filmmaker Interviews. I am Stephen Miller, cabaret star, and I'm being joined by my fabulous co-host, Bonnie Rose, star of screen and television. Uh, today, we are so excited because we are speaking with Tom Capps, Janelle Tedesco, Philip Russell, and Shannon Mor Morrill uh, of the film, <laughs> I'm Not Lost. I always ask myself if I'm lost, but I, am I lost? Oh, I'm in the studio. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. We're so thrilled that you are with us today. Um, I'm gonna get right into the first question. So um, let's start with Phil or Philip, as you would like. Either one um, is fine with me. Okay. My dad was a Phil or a Philip, so that's great. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the film. So I'm not- The premise. Sure. I'm Not Lost is about a girl named Lindsay who's in New York City on her way to an important singing job, but she's very reliant on her cell phone and it dies and she now needs to rely on strangers in the streets of New York to help find her way to the address that she no longer remembers. <laughs> I think Janelle might even be able to talk more about that. Janelle and Shannon, because Janelle was the writer and uh, Shannon was the, the inspiration. For okay, this. And that is actually the next question. What is the inspiration? So well, Shannon, take go. away. <laughs> or Janelle, yes. either one. Well, it, it started, uh, you know, like many films that you guys probably come across, it's like art imitating life. And uh, Janelle and I were on our way to an event and I just didn't show up. Uh, and I called her the next day and was like, I'm so sorry I left you hanging. I essentially ghosted her, but it's because my phone died. I was on my way to Queens and I had no idea where to go once my phone died. All I knew what to do was like, I know how to get home. That's about it. So I just went home. Um, and I realized how useless I was the second my phone died. So that was part of it. <laughs> and she and I, uh, Shannon and I were um, working on another film together. And like I said, she, like she said, she just didn't show up. So when um, we were on the festival circuit, Shannon and I with one film and Tom and Phil with another uh, film and we met them and we decided that all the four of us wanted to work together which was like an amazing lunch that we had, right? All getting together, these yeah. wonderful minds that we clicked and we thought everything was great. And we were pitching all these ideas like crazy. But after we left the meeting, I couldn't get that one out of my head. So it was really the first one that just went down on paper because Shannon and I spent more time talking about the ridiculousness of not being able to get around without your phone, how our brains can't even hold an address anymore when they used to be able to. Oh, well, I put it down on my phone, that's fine. Well, what about a phone number? What about calling your friend? Like people don't even know their friend's phone numbers anymore. So we um, decided to set it in Manhattan because Manhattan's awesome <laughs> and people are crazy. So uh, we had a lot of fun coming up with some silly, crazy characters as well to, to do it. But uh, I love how Shannon played the role. And uh, it's only loosely actually based on, on her as a person though. <laughs> and, uh, we had that lunch meeting in the same area that we shot at and I got lost going to that lunch meeting because my phone died. So it was all pretty relatable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually got lost where Shannon's character Lindsay got lost in the back. I forgot about that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how very apropos and how, when I ask the following question about why now, that is so pertinent <laughs> because people are attached to their phones and, um, and rely so heavily on that. So the premise is so pertinent to right now and how lucky you all got to do this before COVID, yeah. you know, on location mm -hmm. in, in using the Big Apple. I think that was wonderful. Um, my following question would be, um, how did you get this project going? How did you get it funded? This one we did ourselves. Um, you know, we actually did do a follow-up for this that we crowdsourced to, to kind of get other funds, but this was all out of pocket. Uh, 
asked for a lot of favors, friends with gear and, and um, but yeah, we, you know, between the four of us kind of just footed the bill and uh, stole a lot of locations and, <laughs> and just made it happen. But we knew the four, we wanted to work together and this idea we figured we could kind of pull off uh, without totally going broke and uh, just having a little bit of fun running around New York. So, so yeah, um, yeah. it just and came I together by asking for favors, really. <laughs> yeah, and I would say, like, that's, like, the financial, like, logistical side of how it came together. I think one important factor that we always need to mention about our story is that the four of us met at a film festival as filmmakers representing separate films that never met before, and we had that conversation of, like, hey, I really liked your film. Let's do something next, next time, um, and I think that's just the beauty of film festivals and, like, the proof of networking and stuff paying off but then I also think that a lot of the times we say that to like every person we meet but Janelle is the one who is super um uh proactive in making it happen and you know we all were like hey nice to meet you we should do something sometime and we were ready to kind of like go our separate ways and Janelle was like okay when when are we gonna <laughs> talk about it <laughs> Tomorrow, is tomorrow good? Great. And like that kept happening and we were like, yeah, sure. And she made it happen. So um, film festival networking is a key player, but then also Janelle's. Um... <laughs> not not enough could be said for Janelle's uh, tenacity. Tenacity. To tenacity. I was just I, I thinking that. Perfect. Yeah. Um, Love that. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> and thanks to that, and we're so all still working together and making more films. We have another film in post-production and we're always talking about scripts and stuff, and we've developed a great relationship, working relationship with each other as yeah. friends. And friends. I love these guys. <laughs> they, they feel like family now, and I love yeah. just seeing your faces on the Zoom right now. I miss you. Yeah. So that all happened through the process of being not lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's really great. So in concluding with our last question, how excited are all of you to be going to a drive-in in Queens. Hopefully you won't get lost. <laughs> Charge the cell phones. Yeah, fortunately my, my car has the charger plug, so I should be, uh, should be all right. Um, yeah, so awesome. excited, so it's, excited. It's, it's I, like, it's just perfect for these times. And it's just like a fun way to go out and actually experience a screening at a film festival in a fun, and yeah. nostalgic and like it would be fun to do even if there wasn't an unfortunate pandemic going on but in lieu of the situation and the way the world is right now it's absolutely perfect and it will be the first time that it gets to be seen on a big screen because yeah. our th this this film was supposed to have its debut in march <laughs> So um, it went, you know, it went virtual. So we've been having, you know, online screenings, which are wonderful and I'm very grateful for them. But this will be the first opportunity to see it up on a big wall. And I actually am psyched that it's St. John's University because my, my family are big fans of the basketball team there. So we've been there to Karnaseka Arena. <laughs> so I'm excited yeah. about that. And so thank you so much for making that opportunity possible because I know it must have been a lot of work and logistics. <laughs> It, it, we appreciate it so much. <laughs> well, thank you so much, all of you, for being here. We're so thrilled to have you. And I'm going to turn it back over to Steve now. Stephen. Oh, we just want to thank you so much for being here and for making this film possible. And, you know, it's such a true to life story. And I'm just <laughs> so excited for you all to have it on the big screen. And for the first time on the big screen, most of all. But I just want to thank uh, Tom, Janelle, Philip, and Shannon for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So thank much you. Can't wait. Yes, this was so much fun. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank of you. course. And I also want to thank my fabulous co host, Bonnie Rose. Yes, for thank you, Bonnie. All of her fabulous talent and work. So until next time. Best of luck with the film, and we look forward to seeing it on the big screen. See you at the drive-in. Drive <laughs>